In this video, we are going to talk about NASA's 10 largest projects in 2022. So before starting, please like this video and subscribe to this channel for future updates. NASA's big 2021 was a year to beat. The space agency landed the Perseverance rover on Mars and accomplished the first powered, controlled flight on another planet with the attached Ingenuity helicopter. It launched the Lucy mission to study the asteroid belt and saw the OSIRIS-RX spacecraft begin its journey home with an asteroid sample, bringing pristine elements from the dawn of the solar system. And of course, there was the long-awaited launch of the James Webb Space Telescope to round off the year on December 25. Given the protracted development of the telescope, it was a bit of a Christmas miracle. But many of NASA's 2021 accomplishments will spill over into 2022, and of course, there are some pretty huge missions set to finally get rolling this year as well, not least of which being NASA's new moon program, Artemis. Here's the inverse guide to NASA's 10 largest projects in 2022. Number 10. Starliner. As part of NASA's commercial crew program, SpaceX has been transporting astronauts to and from the International Space Station since November 2020. However, Boeing's commercial crew contract-winning spacecraft, the Starliner, has been delayed due to a computer error during its first uncrewed orbital test flight in 2019. Boeing's second attempt at a successful uncrewed orbital test flight is currently scheduled to launch on May 19, barring any unexpected setbacks in the development. If everything goes according to plan, the first crewed test flight of Starliner would transport NASA astronauts Mike Fink, Nicole Mann, and Barry Wilmore to the International Space Station, ISS, later in the year 2022. Number 9. Psyche. This project is unique in that it will send a spacecraft to an asteroid approximately 280 million miles from the Sun in order to gain a better understanding of what lies 1,800 miles underneath the surface of the planet. 16 Psyche is a one-of-a-kind, extremely metallic asteroid with a diameter of 173 miles that is located in the asteroid belt between Mars and Jupiter. Its core looks to be similar to the cores of rocky planets due to its high concentration of metallic elements. Scientists may be able to have a better knowledge of planet formation in the solar system if they get up up and personal with the planets. A SpaceX Falcon Heavy rocket carrying the Psyche spacecraft is currently slated to launch on August 1 from Cape Canaveral, Florida, and will enter orbit around the planet 16 Psyche in January 2026. Falcon Heavy boosters will be landed for eventual reuse by SpaceX, but the core of the rockets will be destroyed. The mission will also launch a second mission, Janus, which will consist of a pair of small satellites, each weighing less than 80 pounds, that will travel to two near-Earth asteroids with small moons, 1996 FG3 and 1991 VH. Number 8. The James Webb Space Telescope. The long-awaited flagship space telescope will eventually launch on Christmas Day in 2021 after years of anticipation. After reaching its operational orbit near Lagrangian Point 2 in late January, the spacecraft began performing calibration and testing. After a lengthy unfurling procedure, the primary and secondary mirrors were adjusted, and afterwards, the mid-infrared instrument, MIRI, one of the telescope's major eyes, was allowed to cool down to the point where it was safe to calibrate its instruments. There are still a handful of months left till this ambitious space project is ready to conduct scientific observations in Earth's orbit. Number 7. DART. On October 2, NASA's double asteroid redirection test, DART, will collide with the asteroid Dimorphos in an attempt to redirect it. DART is a NASA project that is a part of the Planetary Defense Initiative. Its goal is to investigate the use of kinetic impact to redirect potentially hazardous asteroids before they reach the Earth. On November 24, 2021, the mission was officially begun. Of course, new projects and launches aren't the only things NASA will be working on in the year 2022. A large number of existing, ongoing, or even lingering missions are still carrying out intriguing scientific research on board the International Space Station. Number 6. Juno. As of 2016, the spacecraft Juno has been exploring Jupiter and its moons, and the spacecraft will make two close approaches by Jupiter's moon Europa in the year 2022. In late February, Juno will come within 29,000 miles of Europa, but in late September, it will come within 221 miles, allowing for close-up photographs of the big icy moon. According to planetary scientists, 
Europa is home to a worldwide liquid water ocean beneath its surface, making it a potential contender for the discovery of extraterrestrial life anywhere in the solar system. It may also have geysers erupting from beneath its ice crust, according to some reports. Europa will be the destination of a flagship-class mission, the Europa Clipper, which is scheduled to launch in 2024. It will orbit Jupiter in such a way that it will be able to make numerous close flybys of Europa, making the Clipper's Juno campaign a vital recon mission for the trip to the moon of Jupiter. Number 5. TESS. It was originally planned to have a two-year mission starting in 2018, but NASA has decided to extend the mission to July 2020, making it a three-year mission. After completing its mission in 2022, TESS will continue its search for and characterization of exoplanets, with the possibility of discovering more bizarre and surprising worlds like the recently discovered TOI 2337b, which is a hot Jupiter trapped in a deadly spiral with its red giant host star. NASA reported the discovery of the 5,000th exoplanet in March 2022, however there are still 5,000 possible planets found by TESS that are awaiting confirmation, suggesting that the spacecraft could aid in the discovery of several thousand more. Number 4. The Hubble Space Telescope and the Chandra X-ray Observatory Among NASA's four great observatories, which include the Hubble and Spitzer Space Telescopes, as well as the Chandra X-ray and Compton Gamma Ray Observatories, only the Hubble and Chandra Space Telescopes are operational as of December 2022. If you're watching this, it's likely that Hubble doesn't require an introduction. The Venerable Space Telescope, which was launched in 1990 and has made enormous contributions to astronomy as well as providing very cool color photos of the cosmos, has been around for a long time. Hubble has managed to withstand a number of technical malfunctions in 2021, and so far, it appears to still have some life left inside it. The Chandra Observatory, built by NASA in 1999, has played a critical role in the advancement of knowledge about the physics of black holes, whose spinning disks of matter surrounding their maws serve as sources of high-energy X-rays. It will continue to function as one of the most powerful X-ray observatories in the sky until the year 2022. Number 3. Perseverance and Ingenuity The first anniversary of NASA's latest Mars rover, Perseverance, will be celebrated in February, and the rover will continue to operate until at least 2022. Perseverance will use Ingenuity to scout ahead and assist it as it continues to explore the Jezero crater and collect rock and regolith samples in preparation for a subsequent sample return mission to Earth. This is the first time the rover has reached Three Forks, an area of Mars or an old river once poured into a lake. That dry lake bed should have a significant amount of silt moved along the way, which should be rich in telltale signs of Mars' watery past. While we're talking about Mars rovers, don't forget about NASA's Curiosity rover, which first landed on the Red Planet in August 2012 and is still operating, with plans to continue investigating Gale Crater until 2022. Number 2. Gaia. Gaia is an observatory operated by the European Space Agency, but the data it collects could have a substantial impact on NASA programs such as the James Webb Space Telescope, which is now under construction. Gaia is currently monitoring the whole sky in an attempt to create a complete, three-dimensional map of billions of celestial objects, many of which are the size of Jupiter, including numerous exoplanets of similar size. On June 13, 2022, the European Space Agency, ESA, will deliver the third drop of Gaia data, which may provide new targets for Webb to investigate. This is the first Gaia data release that will contain important enough data to demonstrate the presence of planets in the solar system. Number 1. The International Space Station. At long last, but by no means least, the NASA and international spacecraft that has been continuously crewed from its inception is still flying around the planet in 2022. In spite of the fact that NASA has awarded contracts to a number of companies to develop private, commercial space stations to replace the International Space Station ISS, the now 23-year-old space station will continue to operate until at least 2028, and perhaps as late as 2030 before any successors are ready to take its place. NASA and Roscosmos have experienced a number of difficulties as a result of the Russian invasion of Ukraine, but none of these difficulties has caused NASA's commitment to the station to be compromised. What do you think about our video? Let us know in the comment box below. Please like this video and subscribe to this channel for our future updates. Thank you.